Good day, David here, and welcome to another Evolution of Everything video. You've been walking on two feet since you took your first steps as a baby, but have you ever wondered why we walk the way we do today? For years, scientists and armchair philosophers have pondered one of humanity's great evolutionary concerns. Why do humans walk on two legs? We have four limbs, and our ape friends seem to get along well on all fours, by doing what's called knuckle walking. So what makes walking on two legs better? Or if it's not better, why do we do it at all? Scientists know that bipedalism was one of the first features to develop in early hominids, early human ancestors that had already diverged from apes, and a variety of theories attempt to explain why. Yet some of the theories seem to contradict one another. A study published in the July 2007 issue of Presents of the National Academy of Science attempts to provide a definitive answer. It claims that human bipedalism boils down to one thing, energy. The study, performed by three researchers from the University of Arizona, the University of California, Davies and a Washington University in St. Louis examined differences in upright walking between four adult humans and five adult chimpanzees. Chimpanzees were used because they were the closest modern day relative to humans. Four to seven million years ago, humans and chimpanzees diverged from a common ancestor. They then developed independently. Researchers taught the five adult chimpanzees to walk on treadmills. They walked upright on their hind legs and knuckle walked on all fours. The chimps wore masters that tracked how much oxygen they used. The researchers also measured how much pressure was exerted on the treadmill. This revealed which muscles the animals were using. The same measurements were taken for the four adult humans. But what appeared even more interesting was that the amount of energy expended by the chimps varied between them. One chimp used less energy on two legs than all fours. Another used the same in both walking positions. And the other three used more energy when walking on two legs. The variation would trace how the chimps walked and the differences in body structures. One of the scientists expressed excitement in this variation, saying that it reflected an essential part of evolution. Analysis of videotapes of the walking chimps show that chimps generally use large hip muscles and take short steps in walking upright. Humans tend to use smaller muscles, like those in their lower legs, and take longer steps. This leads to improved energy efficiency. Not coincidentally, the chimps that took longer upright strides than their peers consumed less energy. The experiment's results illustrate how energy expenditure contributed to human evolution. Early humans who adapted to expend less energy walking upright are represented in the fossil record. Fossils show that some ancient humans developed longer legs, different hip structures or thicker leg bones, consistent with modern day humans. These adaptations made upright walking easier and lessened the amount of energy required to walk upright. Now, this was just one of the theories that the scientists had come up with. One other theory proposed was that walking on two legs fed the arms, which could then be used to collect food to bring to the family unit. If a primate walked on all fours, he couldn't carry much food back to the family without embarking on multiple hunting or foraging expeditions. It required less energy to provide for a family if the male could walk upright and return to his mate and young with enough food for all of them. The female could then stay with their young and take care of them, ensuring their health and protection from predators. A second theory proposed that hominids started walking upright when travelling through water. Chimps do this today, rising up their hind legs to wade through a pool or creek. Still, another theory proposed that our ancient ancestors rose up on their hind legs in order to cool themselves. By standing upright, they exposed less of their bodies to the sun. Changing habitats and ecological conditions can have a dramatic effect on animal behaviour, sometimes forcing species to adapt, flee or die. Some researchers believe that several million years ago, a warming climate and decline forest habitats meant that our forebears had to undergo longer journeys to find food. Walking on two legs made these journeys less taxing. A related possibility is that the changing climate forced primates to become primarily ground dwellers, rather than living in trees and forest canopies. Food sources became more plentiful on the ground, where primates would have had an advantage by walking on two legs. The final theory asserts that our ancestors never had to leave the trees to learn to walk on two legs. Instead, they learned while still living above ground. Orangutans provide a modern day analogue, as they often stand on two legs on tree branches and grab onto other branches with their front limbs in order to stay balanced. The treadmill study may provide the best case for explaining why humans evolved to walk upright. But a fascinating story from 2004 shows that nature continues surprises and confounds even the most experienced researchers. That year, a five-year-old black macaque named Natasha living in a zoo in Israel almost died from a bad case of stomach flu. After regaining her health, Natasha inexplicably began walking upright all the time, and with remarkably good posture. While monkeys often walk upright for short periods, they never do consistently and straight back like a human. Three other monkeys living with Natasha had the stomach flu, but none of them displayed her post-illness behaviour. The veterinarian training host said that brain damage might be the cause, but that he had never heard of a monkey walking only upright before. Whether we walk on two legs to save energy or to free up our hands, it is hard to say, but thank goodness we did, because we surely wouldn't be where we are today without it. So that's it for this Evolution of Everything video. Leave us a comment of the reason why you think humans walk on two legs. And if you liked this video, why not give it a like? 
and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more content like this one. And as always, we'll see you in the next video.